Hello guys, it's me Karthik. Hope you guys are doing really good. So in today's tutorial, we are going to talk about what is UU ID type and how we can use it as part of our Spring Boot. Okay, especially in where we are creating a entities and we are going to use that. Okay, so basically UU ID is nothing but a type, just like string, long, integer. This is also a type. Let me show you more details about this here. Okay, so UUID is stands for universally unique identifier. Okay, and this is a 36 long character number. As you can see here, this much big, and it will have four, you know, uh, iPhones in between. Since it is a 36 long unique number, okay, since it's a 36 long unique number, you can achieve uniqueness more. And in UUID, uh, this is coming from Java util package where you can randomly generate a UUID type which is going to be unique because of this 36 you know uh, long number you can use this in transaction IDs in you know primary keys or uh, somewhere session IDs where you want to achieve that uniqueness the same thing we are going to do as part of today's tutorial as well so this is nothing but an immutable type object guys okay so this is a small thing about UUID let's get into the demo here so I have one entity called shop details entity that you can see here with a table uh, named as shop okay since I have taken long here for uh, ID so what I will do is I'll replace this with UUID okay so this is nothing now you could see this is coming from Java util UUID okay and let me add one more as well something called column name is equal to like you know gov iphone id okay and uh, let me take this also a uuid type okay something like gov id that means is a government id okay now let's you know generate some values for that so what i did is i have created this entity right so for demo purpose, I have the repo as well, which is using JPA repository. This is one. And I have the service class as well. The same thing I've been using from past three, four videos, guys. That's why I could able to show you everything here. But yeah, there were two methods. First one is save, which is using this repo save method. Another one is save all method. Okay. Now here we are building this object and we are trying to add you know add to a list returning that the same list is been called in upwards in the save and save all method and that been saved right cool now here we have this right now let me okay here uh what are the different parameters parameter is id we need to generate that name address city and government id okay so if you see here name uh, so here id needs to be there right so what i will do is i will create a random uuid okay random uuid if such method is there now you could see here if i if i you know mouse over it is coming from java util random uuid okay let me take that and here I am taking another one from uh, this guy this is a government ID I have taken it from a string okay what is the issue here yeah UUID string string city UUID why if you go here okay I have set this access level let me remove this and not required rlux constructor let me take it as a rlux constructor and save it now this is done the same thing we are going to use it here okay so simply or else what i can do is i can simply use something called random uuid and here uh from string 
we can generate the van uu id as well using this function okay that is what i would like to show here and that should be sufficient guys let me not use three and four here these two should be sufficient so one i have used random uuid function another one is from string how we can generate that uuid now you can see from string the type is uuid here with a static method right cool now we have called the save and save all on top of this now if i go to the controller i probably have defined all of them okay you could see here save method save details and save all as well right cool now let me run this and show you it's a very very small demo guys that's why i'm not making it complicated i'm just showing you what is the purpose of uuid okay in the meantime let me open the postman what is the purpose of uuid using uh, a small demo like how we can generate the random uuid and how we can uh, get it from the string using this method okay using uuid dot from string and how we can define uuid as well these are the small thing that i would like to show but i would strongly suggest you guys to give it a try try it on your own and if you have any doubt do let me in the comment section so that i can help you more on this and also please do like share and subscribe to my channel i would really you know appreciate that now you could see it is compiling right in the meantime uh where is my postman is my postman is still starting okay no issue and also there were a couple of versions of this uuid type guys uh, some version 1 version 2 version 3 version 4 are there why i have not explained this because first i also don't know much about them and we don't use them basically what we use is this random uuid and from string how we can you know generate that uuid that matters and the structure of uuid how you know it looks like so that we can achieve that uniqueness okay so only these things matters the most that's why i have shown you those in the meantime you could see our application is up and running and also i believe our postman as well okay okay 9013 where is the uh save shop details which is a get call right okay now we should be good to go now you could see 200 came right now if i go here to the db and refresh the db here once and go to the table and show you the values okay now you could see it's a actually i don't think it is supporting properly here uh, binary it gets Achha, okay um, but yeah that's what i would like to show maria db uuid type yeah, db uuid type i am not sure whether they have you know uuid type here think it will be stored in some other format i believe but yeah that's what i would like to show that's it from my side guys thank you so much for watching thank you it's me karthik